Hello everybody, I am Dr. Senthil Kamala Shekharan, Senior Consultant Orthopedic Surgeon at Chennai Ortho Clinic and today I am going to talk to you about shoulder dislocations as part of our trauma series. Shoulder dislocations are very common. They usually occur in the younger age group, mainly the sports people, when they fall onto an outstretched hand. The other group of people who get affected by this common, very common condition are the elderly people. In the elderly, falls may be associated with some fractures. If these kind of injuries occur, how do we deal with them? Now, if you dislocate your shoulder, sometimes it can be just a single episode and can get better. However, some people, it can become a recurrent problem in which case they might warrant visits to the emergency to get it back into the right position. With some people, it can occur in both shoulders also. And for some people, it can be a recurrent dislocation and many people, the young people, learn to put their shoulder back in together. This, however, can be very cumbersome and can be painful at times. The most common dislocation which we see is what we call an anterior dislocation, which the shoulder comes forward, post a fall. Very rarely, the shoulder can dislocate backwards and that happens mainly in people affected with fits or seizures. Now, how do you diagnose it? We take x-rays. We take x-rays to see what kind of dislocations we are having. And based on that, we decide the treatment protocol. Once the shoulder has been dislocated and we know what kind of procedure we need to reduce it, then we go ahead and we give the patient some sedation and we can reduce it in the emergency with certain maneuvers. However, this may not be enough sometimes, especially if a person has a fracture or he has a tear of the tendons around the shoulder which cannot be seen on x-rays. So for that, we get higher investigations like an MRI and if they have a fracture, we do take some CT scans also to diagnose the problem. And once we have diagnosed the problem, if it is an elderly person or if it is a young dislocator for the first episode, we reduce the shoulder, put them in a sling and allow it to heal. After we allow it to heal, we have a protocol for strengthening the shoulder and many of them go back to their normal activities. However, sometimes there are people who have fracture dislocations of the shoulder or who have a shoulder which is recurrently coming out and becomes a pain. And for them, what we offer is surgical treatment. Nowadays, the most advanced surgeries which we can do for these people are arthroscopic stabilizations by which I mean we do keyhole repair of all the ligaments and the labrum meaning the structure which keeps the head of the humerus that is the shoulder joint in place so this labral repair is something which we do arthroscopically so that is by keyhole procedures. By keyhole procedures, I mean small holes in your shoulder without opening your shoulder and through which we use devices and we can repair the structures in your shoulder. And by doing that, we give you a normal shoulder. The opening of the shoulder and repairing the uh, structures around the shoulder to give you a stable shoulder is a thing of the past. So once this has been done, we put you through a protocol of rehabilitation and many of them regain their full shoulder movements and they are able to do most of their activities and go back to even active sports. I hope this short video gave you some insight into shoulder dislocations. Many thanks.